a pioneer of women's rights who dedicated her life to the realization of South Africa's constitutional democracy. That's how Dr. Frini Jinwala has been described during a special official memorial service today. Jinwala was the founding speaker of the National Assembly. Senior reporters Lindelo Masekane and Mankoba Mkunu elaborate. Family, government officials and those who fought alongside Dr. Fruini Jinwala against apartheid gathered to celebrate and honor her life. Those who had worked closely with her described her as a formidable force who was instrumental in arranging many significant changes in parliament. Fuller appreciation of Fruini's wide-ranging contributions to our democracy is something we should do in further engagements more in-depth work, especially on the first decade after the first elections when she led us as the founding speaker. Comrade Freni was endowed with many talents which led her to serve as a powerful voice and a formidable figure in a generation of leaders and activists who founded and developed our constitutional democracy. And women today in the country should know this history and appreciate that there are women who fought for us to be where we are today. Comrade Frini is one of those who said we want no less than 30%. We lost the battle. We lost the battle. It's okay. But what was interesting is that following that, all women of the African National Congress at the time were called 30%. Today, we have 50% women. Delivering the eulogy, President Cyril Ramaphosa hailed Jinwala for serving the people of South Africa selflessly. She performed her role as speaker with diligence, with fairness, and with great integrity. She was always mindful that it was her responsibility to serve the people of our country and to do everything within her means to advance their cause. Leaders in society are being urged to emulate Jinwala's work ethic and serve the people of South Africa with integrity. Slinda Lomasigan, Johannesburg. A lawyer, academic, activist and political leader. Family, friends and comrades pay tribute to the late struggle icon and constitutional activist. Aside from the toughness, our aunt was very, very caring, very supportive and very loving, making time for us in balancing the whirlwind of her liberation work. Both she and her sister Granny Koshid, together and independently epitomized strength independence and resilience in the face of adversity and structural inequalities. I want to acknowledge the rich and diverse ways in which Freni Masi was able to touch not just the people who knew her, but also the ordinary South Africans. Described as a champion of social justice and women empowerment, Jinwala's role in championing a non-sexist and non-racial democracy has been hailed by many. Freni was a freedom fighter par excellence. Her dedication to the freedom of the people of South Africa, whom she served through her movement, the African National Congress, places her in the pantheon of a cohort of leaders who have left us a legacy which will live forever. She is truly an icon of the liberation struggle and continued to be so through our fledgling democracy. Mention must be made about the staff at Parliament, current and former, who have been stung by the loss of Madam Speaker. But in the years before her death, Jinwala had some serious thoughts about the state of the country. But she was fiercely unhappy and critical of the degeneration in the leadership of our movement, in the leadership of public 
as well as private sector entities, and of the destruction of institutions that were built through great sacrifice and hard work. And calls for the younger generation to emulate her example. Johannesburg.